welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teacher Fredly Miranda, at your service. I'm glad to see you again. On this lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Identify the different kinds of angles. 2. Bisect angles. And 3. Appreciate the usefulness of learning about angles. Before we proceed to today's discussion, let's have a recap of the previous lesson first. Do you still recall the different parts of the circle? I will show you pictures of the parts of the circle and I will give the definition. I want you to identify them, okay? Let's begin. What do you call the distance around the circle? If your answer is circumference, then you are right. How about this? A line from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference of the circle. Did you say radius? Yes, that's correct. Look at again on the figure. It is a line connecting two points of the circumference of the circle. Example, line G, B. If your answer is scored, you are absolutely right. Now, on the same illustration, it is a special cord that connects two points on the circumference of a circle passing through the center. For example, line AE and line FD. What is this? Great! The answer is diameter. Let's have the last one. It is the point which a line connects on or with a circle. Awesome! That is the point of tangency. Great job, students! I am so glad to know that you can still recall the previous topic and I think you are ready for the next part of this lesson. Today, we are going to study another component of geometry and drawing. It has two rays sharing at the same endpoint called the vertex and that is angles these are the kinds of angles acute angle measure more than zero but less than 90 degrees right angle forming exactly 90 degrees. Obtuse angle, forming 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Straight angle, exactly 180 degrees. Reflex angle, measure more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Complementary angle 
It has two angles whose sum of the measurement is exactly 90 degrees. For example, angle A measure 40 degrees and angle B measure 50 degrees. The total of 90 degrees. Supplementary angle. It has two angles whose sum of the measurement is exactly 180 degrees. Let us try angle A. If A is 60 degrees, B is 120 degrees. Are you ready to solve a geometric problem? We have here a geometric problem to be solved. How to bisect an angle? When you heard the term bisect, what comes in your mind? Great! The answer is to divide it into two equal parts. Before we proceed to our activity, we have here the needed drawing tools and materials for solving a geometric problem. Drawing paper Compass Foot rule Protractor Eraser and pencil. Are you ready? Let's do it! Steps in bisecting an acute angle. Step 1. At a given angle A, B, C, would be as a center, strike an arc in any convenient radius passing through the given angle. Set your compass at point B. Then, strike an arc. Intersection of two lines. Name it point 1 and 2 Step number 2 Do not adjust your compass anymore Set your compass at point 1 Then strike an arc Transfer your compass at point 2 then, strike an arc. Intersection of two lines, name it point O. Step number three, connect vertex of angle B to point O. Using your foot rule, from point B to point O. O. Connect the two points. We have the line bisector. That is exactly the half of the angle. Angle A, B, O and O, B, C are the same measurement. We already bisect the given angle. Did you get it? Very good students! I guess you are now getting the hang of this activity. Let's keep going! This time, try to solve this geometric problem. 
bisecting a right angle. The same procedure just we did in bisecting an acute angle. Steps in bisecting a right angle. Step 1. At the given angle A, B, C, with B as a center, strike an arc in any convenient radius passing through the given angle. Set your compass at point B. Then, strike an arc. Name the intersection point 1 and 2. Step number 2. Do not adjust your compass anymore. Set your compass at point 1. Then strike an arc. Transfer your compass at point 2. Then, strike an arc. Intersection of two lines, name it point O. Step number three. Connect the vertex of an angle B to point O. Using your foot rule, connect point B to point O. We have the line bisector. That is exactly the half of the angle. Angle A, B, O, and angle O, B, C are the same measurement. We already bisect the right angle. Are you done? Great! So, how did you find activity? It is so easy, isn't it? Hold on, everyone. We've only just begun. Let us remember. An angle is made up of two rays sharing at the same endpoint called the vertex. Whatever is the size of an angle, it can be divided into two equal parts by means of compass, which help us to create an angle bisector. The tractor is a tool that can be used in measuring angles. Now, let's proceed to the next part of our lesson. Let us check if you really understood today's discussion. Directions Answer the following questions and check out the words provided where you can choose your answer from. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1. It is an angle measure more than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. The correct answer is acute angle. That's right. Number 2. Any two angles whose sum of the measurements is equal to 180 degrees. The answer is supplementary angle. If you get it right, that's a very good job. If not, don't worry. Three more to go. Let's keep going. Number 3. It means to divide it into two equal parts. If 
Your answer is by sec. You are absolutely correct. Next, number four. It is an angle measures exactly 90 degrees. The answer is right angle. I hope you got it right, students. And now, for the last item, number five. An angle measure more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. The answer is obtuse angle. Everybody did great. See you in our next video lesson. I hope you learned from me today. Thank you so much for staying with me. You did a wonderful job. Once again, I'm Teacher Fredly Miranda. Keep safe, everyone. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more updates and more upcoming video lessons. Bye, babies.